Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Super Unsexy and welcome to another Walmart clearance video. At least that's what I thought. I had this whole cool video planned out with my sons. Like it was really funny. Like they were pulling me around Walmart, they were dragging me on the floor. But I started making the video and I found some pretty cool clearance deals at first. But then everything became about what's going on right now in the world. It's crazy, there's nothing in the store. I couldn't believe it would be like this, like the panic everyone's having. Everything became about water and toilet paper. The whole energy at these stores, at these Walmarts, was just completely changed. And I decided I should make a video about this and I should show you what's going on inside of these Walmarts. And I visited 10 different Walmarts. Walmart number 10. Walmart number 10. To show you what was going on. And as the day progressed, you can kind of see how things got don't you dare go anywhere. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey guys, please take a second and smash that like button. Smash it so good. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't and please ring my bell just so we can all stay connected going forward for future videos. I love having you guys here. Let's go into Walmart number one. So I approached this video with clearance in mind and only clearance in mind. So I went right to the clearance section and I looked around, you know, there's some good prices on some things like these coat hangers are going on clearance. There's amazing prices on heaters and fans and stuff like over 50%, really crazy deals. But it felt oddly quiet inside of Walmart and I'll admit that. And I know we need toilet paper. Kathleen mentioned we got to get some toilet paper, but it's not on the top of my mind because I'm like, I'm here for clearance to make a clearance video. I'll get the toilet paper somewhere towards the end of the video. So it hasn't registered yet how quiet it is on the side of the store that I'm at. So I scan this bike. It's only $39. There's the barcode if you need it. It's on hidden clearance, right? It's regularly 58. And I was like, that's a good deal. But look, there's no people around me while I'm recording, which isn't very common when I do this in the morning. It just feels like a great day, right? So I'm walking out and there's lots of cars in the parking lot, but I'm really honestly not paying attention to that yet and I go to Walmart number two. I had so many fun plans for this video. I even had jokes prepared. All right, guys, so here's the deal. I'm in Walmart number two, and I texted Kathleen because she can't be here right now because our son Logan has some therapies. And I was like, text me some jokes, and um, I'll tell everyone so we can all kind of, like, hang out. So the first joke she told me to tell you guys was this. Why did the invisible man not take the job offer? And the answer is because he couldn't see himself doing the job. Total dad joke city. Dad joke city. Let's see what they got here. So as I get to the clearance section, please watch in this part of the video how there's no one around me shopping. I see some candles. I see lots of car audio in this Walmart like really good prices check these out 50% off and I'm just gonna breeze through these so we can get to the rest of the video and then these fire starting logs are like one dollar two dollars crazy clearance on those items then I moved right over to bathroom stuff like bathroom mirrors little bathroom stacking shelves stuff all going on clearance so the prices will even get better than they are today and really I was like this is an amazing day there's just no one really getting in my way while I record it's so easy there's shoes there's stuff in the kitchen like plates there's lots of tumblers and I'm like wow this is great and it's a little embarrassing in retrospect that it didn't really strike me that no one was around me I guess I was just in the zone that's how I am and these are all the as seen on TV stuff at the front of the store lots of clearance there and even like this car right here I bought this for three dollars not too long ago like last week and it drives right up the wall really cool I bought that toy for my kids so you're gonna see lots of different prices on these as seen on TV items but keep your eye on those if you do go to Walmart so I head out because I originally planned on going to 15 Walmarts but did you notice that there was just no one around me in that store but there is lots of cars in the parking lot. Everyone was on the other side of the store. All right, guys, we're going to head over to Walmart number three. All right, guys, we're at Walmart number three. And this is joke number two. Kathleen just texted me it. Let me know if you like it. Why did the crab never share? And the answer is because he's shellfish. Get it? Like selfish, shellfish. Ah, let's go in. When I get into Walmart number three, it's another ghost town situation on the side of Walmart I'm in. And I don't know why. Like, I'm just like thinking this is a great day. Wow. Like, that was hidden clearance. That was only $29. And this item right here, I bought this hair dryer for only $20 the other day. I bought that for Kathleen. Then Kathleen texted me out of nowhere. And she was like, they're starting to cancel classes for colleges around here. And I was like, oh, wow, for real? Like, it's getting that serious? And she's like, yeah, did you get the toilet paper yet? And I was like, oh, 
shoot. I was like, uh, no, I didn't, but I'm going to go check right now. And she's like, okay, thanks, because it's selling off fast. So, you know, typical me procrastinating, I rushed over to the toilet paper section, only to find that I seriously, seriously underestimated this whole entire thing. And it's super embarrassing, but that's super honest of me. Did anyone else underestimate all of this? I honestly didn't think. Let me know in the comments if you underestimated it as well. Let me know if I'm not alone. But there was no toilet paper in this Walmart at all. And I'm feeling a little concerned, to be honest with you, a little confused. And I actually need this toilet paper. So it's actually something I need to look for right now. I'm getting a little, I don't know, a little desperate. I don't know how to explain how I'm feeling. Let's go to Walmart number four. Hello? 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 Yeah. Oh, Walmart number four. Who this? So I rushed around Walmart looking to see where all the people were and I didn't see a lot of people anywhere in the store So I was thinking maybe things were sold out and see the water is sold out And now this guy, I don't know, he was pretty cool because he laughed and everything But sorry, bro, I just can't talk I'm looking for toilet paper and it really does feel like serious business I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to like over exaggerate and make it sound funny, seriously And then Yeah, no, that's not my brand, sorry Not interested Yeah, no, that's not my brand That's not my brand Ah, that's not my brand, so. This is no time to worry about brands. This isn't like wearing a pair of sneakers. This is toilet paper. What's up guys, before we head over to Walmart number five, yes, I bought toilet paper, but because I need it. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about everything that's going on right now in the world. Did you stock up? Did you prepare? Were you already prepared? Admittedly, even though I go to Walmart all the time, I wasn't prepared, so I had to grab those just for my own personal needs for my family. But um, let me give you a joke real quick. Kathleen just texted me this joke. So the joke is this, what do you get when you cross a vampire with a snowman? The answer is frostbite. Don't laugh at me. Let's do it. Walmart number five, look alive. So I planned to carry on the video per usual looking for clearance deals, but this Walmart had lots of anxiety in it, right? So the water was missing, there was some Powerade right there, and there's some paper towels, but when it comes to bath tissue, the uh, toilet paper, when I look over here, there's a woman grabbing some of the last few that are left, and you can feel the anxiety. People are waiting for water because water's in the back room and they're not bringing it all out. I think because some people are buying all of it, which makes sense because people are panicking, and I see people that have the water, that have had water in other stores, and their whole cart is full of water, so they're kind of holding back to make sure everyone gets some to keep some in the system There's just lots of anxiety in these Walmarts I walked to the other side of the store and I walked out the garden center and it was a total ghost town It was just crazy and one thing I noticed is there's lots of carts everywhere because people are panicking They're leaving the carts everywhere. This cart is right behind this car So I'm gonna get a little cart karma I call it a carriage actually carriage karma and I'm gonna put that back in the carriage holder And just so you guys know I've been using hand sanitizer in between Walmarts and I use hand sanitizer regardless Kathleen and I always do let's head over to Walmart number six and check out the situation. All right, guys, I'm going to Walmart number six. So as I get to Walmart number six, I notice some lady has some toilet paper in a stroller, so that's a good sign. But then when I get to the actual section, there's no water in the water section. And when I get to the toilet paper section, there's only that. There's only that. There's not much toilet paper at all. There's like nothing. And this Walmart usually has tons of toilet paper and paper towels. And then I met this nice guy. What's up, everyone? I'm here with Wendell and we're in the toilet paper section, it's empty, and I just caught him doing what I was doing, recording it so he could show everyone. What do you think, man, what's going man, on? It's crazy, there's nothing in the store. I couldn't believe it would be like this, like the panic everyone's having. You can't just wipe your ass <laughs> Bro, this is my sixth Walmart that I've been to. Six. Sixth one, man. Like some of them had nothing, and some of them only had like that same brand. That must be the most expensive brand. Yeah. Feel, man, it's crazy, right? I don't know what to do next, look. All the stores, everything's out. How you supposed to wipe your <laughs> That's what's up. Yo, you want to um, shout out anything? Like, anybody? Oh, so, hey, do a shout out to me, to everyone's family, my girlfriend, Brandy. Hope everything's good, everybody. Cool, YouTubing. Woo! That's <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. Oh. No, it's a joke, man. You know what I mean? Oh, man, you got me good. Man. All right, bro. All right, man. Take it, Take it out. So guys, as I leave the 6th Walmart, I have to say this really quick. I'm definitely curious about the situation, what's going on with the panic. It's very interesting. Um, 
That's so it. I say bye to Walmart number six and I head over to Walmart number seven. And right when I get inside, this one has plastic gloves and spray sanitizer for your shopping carts. All right, guys, I'm at Walmart number seven. And instead of showing clearance deals, I think for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna show the situation with the water and the toilet paper and what's going on at the stores. I'm gonna hit up some more Walmarts. It just seems far more interesting right now. So I'm not seeing any water at this Walmart. And this Walmart isn't super hectic right now. So I feel like people know there's no water here. It looks like the baby section was completely wiped out at this Walmart as well. And you'll see people wearing gloves. See, they're giving gloves out front. And a lot of people are wearing gloves as they shop, which is a different sight than usual. And then eggs. All these eggs were cleared out of this Walmart. There's lots of stuff in the food section, like pasta, with macaroni and cheese. Stuff like that was very heavily cleared out, you can tell, in this Walmart. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the cleaning stuff is also gone, like everywhere I look. And then behind me, this is all like paper towels and toilet paper. It's just all gone. So a lot of people are panicking, which I get it because who knows what this is all about. I really don't know. I'm not super educated on this either. I plan on bringing my kids into this video, like picking up Kathleen and the kids later on, and we could all close out the video together. But I'm not even going to bring my kids into this video. It's just not worth it, especially with all the anxiety going around. But let's go hit up another Walmart and see what it looks like. What I thought was pretty cool at the front of this Walmart, they were advertising the grocery app so you can just shop online. Um, this video started with like a really like happy vibe, but the energy just like in all the Walmarts is like anxiety, a lot of people walking around with gloves and it's really mixed. You know, some people have gloves on and they're being very careful, you can tell. And then there's other people who just have their kids just running around and they don't seem too concerned. So it's, it's super mixed. I'm not sure where you guys stand on this, but um, thank you so much for being here. If you're watching this, let's go see what it's like at Walmart number eight. So as I drive up to Walmart number eight, I can tell you that traffic has gotten considerably more heavy and they have a little table in the front like this. So I'm at Walmart number eight. And one thing I noticed in the last few Walmarts is I've seen a lot of elderly people shopping for stuff. And that's kind of sad. You know, that's something I really didn't think about because I heard a woman just now in this Walmart talking to another elderly person, an elderly woman. And she said that um, she had no one else to go shopping for her. One thing that can come from this is if you're watching this and you know anyone that's elderly maybe it's not top of mind but ask them if they need you to go to the store for them as expected no water in this walmart no toilet paper or cleaning supplies either in this walmart kind of what we expected though the parking lot walking out to it was just complete and total chaos and i noticed there was a woman that had tons of water in her cart so some people must have already gotten some of it so guys i'm gonna head to the next walmart walmart number nine and i ask an employee standing in the doorway if they're sold out of everything here's the audio to that you know they sold out of toilet paper I, you think they are? I think so, but, but you can. All right. Can I go check? Sir. All right, thank you. Water and, 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 and the kind of space, you know. Okay. Sanitizer. Yeah, sanitizer. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. Everything's gone, gone so, yeah. All right, I'll go check anyway. I appreciate it. Okay, yes, sir. This is where the toilet paper usually is. They filled it with baby wipes. So this Walmart had baby wipes as an alternative to toilet paper. And you'll see lots of people right now walking around with masks on. And I'm curious if anyone's still here. If you're still here, we're going to Walmart number 10. Thank you so much for being here. Walmart number 10. Walmart number 10. At the 10th Walmart, I can say the theme is very, very strong now. It's just all wiped out. And the lines are crazy. People are buying everything they think they need, food and whatnot. And the parking lot is absolutely insane at Walmart. I literally went to the supermarket down the street right after this and chicken was sold out. It was just really a crazy day in general. Very eye-opening. I know this wasn't my usual video, and if you're still here, I want to say thank you so much for hanging in there and watching this entire video. In the back of my mind, I was like, how can I keep showing clearance deals when I don't even know if people are going to be going to the store anymore? Also, in the back of my mind, I was like, I actually need to go get toilet paper because I wasn't prepared. I didn't expect it to be like this. So I want to close on this. Make sure you listen to experts. Do whatever you have to do to keep yourself and your family safe. Just know that I'm sending you tons of love, and I really mean that. I'm so grateful to have you here. I hope everyone in your world is safe and well. And until next time, I'm Super Unsexy, and you're amazing.